Welcome to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to. The chat kind of occurred to me. I don't really know how the best way to start streams. I just say, "Ah, oh, welcome to the stream," and then make a sound. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have to restart from the beginning of uh, Sam and Max episode 4 because I forgot to save. Hopefully it auto-saves, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Uh, why is Steam not work? Why Steam no work? Nuclear 7 stream. I mean, we will be eventually. I really want to try to get through uh, Sam and Max today and maybe finish it off so we can start thinning out uh, the number of games we have to get through. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now Steam's working. And... Oh, wait, did I accidentally uninstall Sam and Max? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And do... Hit that button. Hit that button. Pop. I was wondering considering how beefy G Strive Story Mode is looking to be. Has there have they released footage or something of of it? Well, hold on. I'm gonna, okay, before we start with Sam Max, I just want to quickly uh. Guilty Gear Strive. Was there any Strive news recently that I didn't hear about? Let's see, this January first Anji trailer. Uh, I don't think I see anything. Well, here's the thing about Strive Story Mode. Like, if it's anything like uh, Revelators, I might not be able to stream it. They keep referencing a map. They've clarified the assister. <laughs> oh, well, okay, that's okay. So I'm a little split here, because on one hand, uh, that sounds raw as hell. That sounds really cool. On the other hand, uh, I'm not a big fan of fighting game story modes that have gameplay. <laughs> like, Guilty Gear Exert story mode is my favorite because it, it, like, it was just a... It was just a visual novel with budget. Oh, what the fuck? It's just a visual novel with a lot of budget. And... It gave a lot of, like, scenes where it's like, oh, now you get a scene of just characters talking for, like, 30 minutes straight and just, like, chilling out, being cool. And then you look at Mortal Kombat story modes where it's like everyone has to be fighting constantly. The characters don't have time to breathe or be characters because they, they just have to be doing shenanigans at all times. I don't know. It might be good. Arxis is usually good at story modes, except for Dragon Ball Fighters, so... Fingers crossed. However, seeing how muddied and, and fucked up the design of the gameplay and the UI and everything else about it, I, I don't have high hopes. No, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, we get to just continue from where we left off. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Sadly, anybody who missed the, the first time I played this I might be a little lost. Oh, this is taking a while to load. Oh, no. I really need to get everything on SSD. There we go. Perfect. 
Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. Hey, wait. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I don't know if that actually saves. Uh, I don't think there's been a single fighting game that actually uses the mechanics of the game to enhance the story. Exert's great because they sidestep it entirely, but it personally feels like it kind of does feel like cop out. But at the same time, like you can do a good story with like Yakuza gameplay because there are more ways to interact with the game aside from just fighting. There's like walking around, there's talking to people, there's picking stuff up. Fighting games don't have that same luxury because the mechanics begin and end at fighting. Like, even simpler things like walking around doesn't really work in a fighting game. Uh, did I already do everything I need to do in here? Hold on. Okay, I have... A paint kit. Boxing glove. A ray gun. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do we take the internet is our adversary? How on earth are we going to combat something that isn't in any one particular place? Simple, we just have to attack it everywhere at once. And how do you propose to do that? I'm the president, I just make policy. I rely on my lieutenants for the operational details. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I think I need to pick up coins around the environment or something. It's that I don't quite remember. Uh, no game has managed to work that into the story. Yeah. Somebody might be able to one day. That I don't is know. one large recycle bin. Save the earth. Uh, did I talk to him yet? Hey, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I'm the Internet Wizard. Uh, future? Can you foretell our future again? Uh, blackness, blackness all around. I think it was. Still not helping. <laughs> okay. Bye! Imposter! Uh... Oh, fuck. I don't remember what all I need to do. So I need to get these, but I don't... Let's see. If I use... Hold on. See, it does. Could we mail something? Absolutely not! Okay, alright. Perfect. I have an idea. That's probably not going to work. Whee! Yeah, okay. Uh, what is the jack-in-the-box again? I can't get near it with these impenetrable ads popping up. Oh, all the time. <laughs> right. Okay. Hmm. Is there a way to go in the DeSoto yet? Whee! Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. Man, I don't remember what my options are right now. Hmm. Uh, President Max demotes Florida to a territory. We stream really just Discord chat that happens to have gameplay. To yeah, uh -oh. kind Moscow's of. goes in the grips of those reality 2.0 goggles. We better save him, Sam. It's so depressing in here without his omnipresent paranoia to lift my spirits. Damn, okay. Uh, oh, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I think things. we need these binoculars more than Bosco does. Um, not really. Well, no. These incessant rationalizations for our questionable tactics do not, in all honesty, have much merit to them. And yet there remains a very real compulsion to say them. He doesn't really need the binoculars anyway. Yeah, right. right. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. sure, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, what if... Bosco's binoculars. Extra powerful for the extra paranoid. Oh, I didn't know you could actually... Oh, shit. Hypnotic goggles. Gateway to reality 2.0. I didn't know you could actually examine items. Holy fuck. I never get tired of looking at this baby. All right. 
That's my favorite moment so far. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I have an idea. Probably won't work, but... Okay, what did the binoculars turn into? A magnifier. How can I do that when it's way up there and I'm way down here? Okay. All right, damn it. Hmm. What if... <laughs> this is probably not gonna do... This is probably not gonna do what I think it will. Okay. What if I try magnifying Jimmy's rat hole? Hey, Jimmy. Beat it! Okay, no. Uh, no, the virtual rally doesn't have, uh, Leonard. Though he should still be here. <laughs> there he is. Hungry, Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. I'm going to uh, increase the side of Jimmy as a whole by using this glass. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I do can that. see that well enough from here. Okay. Hmm. Let me think for a second. Let me think for a second. So we did everything in Sybils. Except for that glowing door, but I don't have a way to open that yet. Hmm. <sighs> this episode might take longer than I think it will. Because I do not... Your noise is heard at White House again. What if I just try to, like, fucking... Sounds Over. like a gas, but I can't reach him. Hmm. So in Bosco's store, there's just... Bosco, and then the virtual reality version, there's just him. And I can't buy anything from him yet. Because I don't have the gold coins. Then out here is three gold coins, a sword, and a, a, a pop up and a mail. Can't do anything in lefties, I don't think. Not until the end. And Sibbles. Let's just check Sibbles again. It's been a while. Have I sorted everything? I, I mean, I don't have the sword yet. I need to get the sword somehow. <laughs> this reality 2.0 of yours is kind of neat, but it isn't finished yet. Is there a pixel shortage or what? I told you, I'm a beta tester. It's a beta version, i.e. not finished. Okay. See you around, Sybil. And let's just go back in, I guess. Hmm. I can't see any way to open the door. But the loot, Sam! The loot! I needs it! Uh, what if I put a... Nah. No, okay, no. No siree. What, what does the bug Looks actually like do? like in here, he's a computer bug. What does he do, though? <laughs> the boxing glove is relatively unchanged here in reality 2.0. It's a magnifier of some sort. That doesn't tell me what it does. <laughs> I mean, I, mm, this probably won't work, but I guess it's worth a shot. I'm a little out of shape for that. Yeah, okay. Bug on lefty? Uh. I'm not sure I... Wait, 404 street sign. 404, street not found. Oh, okay. But it's right here! Well, some of it anyway. Reality 2.0 is currently at beta status. Some features may be unavailable at this time. Hey, wait! Wait, what if I try using the bug on the pop-up ads? 
nothing doing. Not yet. Okay. Magnifying glass? I guess this is what pixels look like close up. <laughs> okay, that doesn't help. The bug in the rat hole. Mmm, maybe. Maybe. I haven't tried that yet. Okay, here you go. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it! No, no, yep, no. Hmm. <laughs> what if I just ray gun it? Okay, that's pretty much useless then. Oh. Who was it? Our future. Ah, crank collars. I love those guys. I think I tried the magnifying glass already. Because I thought, well, what if I just make the hole bigger? <laughs> Didn't, I don't think it worked. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah, no. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just go back into Bosco's. Is there anything back here? Poison mead. Poison mead. Between Bosco's coffee and poison mead, I take my chances with the mead. Condiments, sludgy machine. I don't think any of this is going to be useful. Iron rations. I guess that's what passes for a cash register in these parts. Okay. Hot rum. Wow, that rump is hot. Okay. Punch you blit. He's not you bliss. He's the internet wizard. Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question. Go ahead. What? Ask us the same question. Okay. Is that really you? Yes. Why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco. I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the internet revolution for the Shire. Okay, Vivek. Those are hypnotic. Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please. Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except we're asking hypnotized or not hypnotized. Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now, where's my free laptop? <laughs> okay, uh... We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf, not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I don't know what to say. And yet, I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay! The wooden longsword of intense uh, longness. <laughs> wooden longsword of intense longness. Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly, there are greater weapons to be had, but none of such intense uh, longness. Fine. Let's cut to the chase. How much we talking here? Five gold coins. Five gold coins? Are you insane? We're never gonna find that kind of money! Wait, five gold coins? That's it? Tis a bargain. Tis! Okay. So I don't worry, get three, but... So how's Reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know, in Reality 2.0, shelf space is infinite. Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original Reality? Huh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other reality. 
<laughs> uh, sure, let's what keep makes asking. your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign, all digital, safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, uh, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No, I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. Okay, uh, <laughs> if we wanted to pay real life money to your bank account, how would we do it? Oh, it's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh, and you also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No. In fact, I had it wiped from my memory so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. Uh, <laughs> this may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, but may we see your private tattoo? No! Besides, I didn't tattoo it on my virtual avatar. It's on my real body, dummy. All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there, either. Please let us see it. Please let us see the tattoo with your account password. No. <laughs> okay. See you later, Bosco. For the Shire. All right. I'm going to first save, because I think that may... Also... I think I, think I saw Banco Lavadero somewhere else. Your progress has been saved. Just pull his pants down. Yeah, but it probably will be impossible to get over the counter. It's just too tall. Banco Lavadero. Reality 2.0 is connected to the World Wide Web for your convenience. Please take the time to visit our sponsors. Okay, so I can't do anything there yet. Ah. Whee! Okay. In that case, magnify the tattoos, possibly. That's probably one of the what we're gonna have to do, but I'm not sure about getting him to reveal it because he's just kind of standing there. Uh oh, boss goes in the grave. We better say. Okay, hold on. Hmm. I'm not sure I want him to know I took these. Okay, no. I think I have to knock him out first, so. Let's see if I can get help. Is it wrong to like Muzak? Only if you can hear it. Uh, <laughs> Are you at all disturbed that when we take those goggles off, we're not in quite the same place we were when we put them on? We aren't? <clears throat> okay. Let's get cracking. That's not very useful, but okay. What if I... Uh... I don't spy on... Sir, yeah, yes, okay, sir. Yeah, he doesn't spy on Bosco, right? Okay, let's just... Try this again. Sounds like a gas, but I can't reach him. Fucking so stupid. Uh. Fuck. I hope I just start shooting. Better not. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's impossible. You just can't reach him. It's it's nothing to do it. Okay, time to go back here and see what else I can do. Look for invisible. We'll take that long sword, if you please. Have you the requisite? Uh, no, not. Then take us the high. Okay, hold on. Hey, let me show you something. Nay. <laughs> Sounds like a gas, but I still fucking goddamn. All right, hold on. What if I draw? A... Let me show you something. Nay. No. No, okay. No. 
That obviously wasn't gonna do anything anyway, but yeah, it was worth a shot. Hmm. I'm a tad bit stumped. Let me think. Cheap even smelling theater. Damn, okay. Okay, so we got a tattoo of Sybil's. Maybe if I talk to Sybil I can get some information. I do out of every episode of Sam Max, this one I remember the least. Did you get new goggles? Make sure you explore everything. Reality 2.0 has many fun surprises. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what's going on, Max. This isn't Sybil at all. It's just a statue of her, passing on scraps of pointless information. We call them avatars in internet speak, noob. Have you been visiting late night chat rooms again? Pet rock lovers rock sores! <laughs> Is this the weakest? I don't remember. I just remember being visually cool, but I, I don't come back to it ever. Okay. See you around, Sybil. Can't do that. Fuck. I don't know what to do. Do I have to start? Do I have to start the counter? Am I gonna have to start the counter? I might have to start the counter. Uh, fuck, okay. And you'll be viciously mocked for it. I know, but otherwise this is going to take all night. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> I should, hold on, I should like pull up a fucking, uh... Where, where can I find? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Reality 2.0 guide. <laughs> okay, X by use Act 2, X in the control room. Uh, Click the control act. I literally, it's just because I forgot to go in one room. I, I'm mad. Oh, I'm fucking mad. I just forgot to go into the control room and actually talk to people last time. Fuck. What's your story, Data Head? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. If you're not satisfied with your height, please contact the customer service department. I'm not satisfied with my height. I'm sorry, the customer service department is currently closed. Please try again later. So apparently, uh, the game auto saves. So we're. I just picked up right where we left off, and I have made no progress since then. Except I found uh, magnifying glasses. What are you simulating there, big guy? I am the master of gravity! Really? I would have guessed master of jollity. You will fall! <laughs> so, how you keeping busy, Mr. Sensitivity? User with control. User what's it? I am maintaining the width of your avatar. And... So, what aspect of reality do you control, he who only bleeps? Ask a stupid question. Well, let's give this thing a push. What's the worst that could happen? It turns off the computers controlling the world's nuclear reactors and the entire planet is subsumed in a massive radioactive firestorm? Uh, let's just try it and see. Pop-ups have been disabled for your convenience. Oh, well, that's good, too, I guess. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. 
Okay, let's go get the pop-up box now. Hmm, near as I can tell, the only purpose of this thing is to generate those annoying pop-up ads. Now... Can I, can I maybe use this on these? No way. I think I remember why I don't come back to this one that much is despite how cool it is, it's kind of a pain in the ass because like, the logic is kind of inconsistent. Because like, what the fuck does Magnify do? <laughs> it lets you see things good, but like, does it make things grow bigger? Does it, does it just see things? Oops. Hey, Jimmy. Beat no, it! Okay. Like, what the fuck does this pop-up do? I don't, know, I don't know. Make pop-up. How is that useful? I don't know. Is the times referred to guide just for today? I mean, it's every time in point-and-click game where I have to refer to a guide, I'll, I'll be doing that, probably. Beat it! Beat it! Come on, come on. Okay, well, I'm gonna try pop up in <laughs> boss go see what happens. Let me show you something. Nay. Nay, okay. Well I mean did the counter re oh yeah, restarts per like yeah. Cause I, I, I what I do in OBS is I just take the BRB text and turn it into a times referred to guide text. So really I like I pretty much replace the text every few days. How can I do days. that when it's way up there and yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah, okay, that's not... that do nothing. How else will I know what it do? <laughs> I have to know if we do... if it get bigger. It's how I... how we do. Nuh-uh. What is it? Uh, the Jack in the Box probably is not no, real no. at all. But let's check out. Wait, actually, hold on. It's the thing that makes those annoying pop-up ads. All right. Uh, let's go back to real world then. Yeah, it doesn't exist. I might have to look at the guide again. Because <laughs> I... Like, I have a pop- oh, cool, I have a pop-up ad thing. Wow, that's- that changes nothing of my current predicament. Wait a minute. What if I... Pop-ups have been enabled for your convenience. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I, I, I just, I just thought of it as, as you sent that. <laughs> okay, now maybe we could use it to climb on these and grab the coins. Nope. Maybe. No. Okay. But can I show her can this? We mail something. Absolutely not. All right. Uh, who all can I show pop-ups to? Let's, let's try Bosco. Oh, maybe the Internet Wizard. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do this first. I've got better things to punch. No. Okay, do you want to look at the this? No way. No? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 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 Yeah, curious. Quiet. Let me show you something. Hey. No. <laughs> Still not. Ah, shit. If I just try using the, the pop-ups on Max. Nah. Nah, I oh, yeah. That's about what I expected. Uh so I need the, the long sword to grab the regular sword. Don't know how to grab these. Hmm. I'm gonna try the pop-up on Jimmy again. Hey, Jimmy. Beat no. it! Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
Fucking Jesus Christ, we're like five minutes into the stream. Okay, hold on. Exit, take the jack of the box, examine the same computer, use computer bug on the up right control computer. What? I mean, I, I talked to all of them, but I didn't have any. I didn't have any options, but it turns out it's because I need to do this. Oh, man. Hi, buddy. We brought you a housewarming gift. Permission denied. Overruled. With maintenance routine compromised. Look, Sam, we're two-dimensional. This feels oddly familiar. Holy crap. That's hilarious, bro. Yikes, that dude's bugging. Well. See, the reason why I didn't think that would work is because I assumed it'd be like, no, don't put that on me, stop. Like. But no, they just they just let you do it, I guess. Now we're playing Paper Mario. <laughs> That looks really cool, actually. All right, let's go get. Let's put this new miracle diet to the test, shall we? I found a gold coin. Wow! Lose weight and earn money. Where do I sign up? I dropped an entire dimension, and I've never felt better. I can't believe there's only one fucking coin in there. Are you kidding me? I wonder if licking a virtual cactus has the same effect as licking a real one. Try it if you want, but I'm not going to be the one pulling virtual cactus spines out of your virtual tongue. I, I think with enough time I would have figured it out, but... It's just in my brain, like... Okay, I can't, like do any interaction with anybody else because they just say, no, don't do that. Stop it. So I assume the same would be for the, the most powerful beings on Reality 2.0. Are you feeling alright? I'm tripping, dog. What's up with that? Sounds good to me. User with control operational. Okay, now I gotta put the bug on the bite. You look lonely. Gravity one. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity failing must hold on! Whee! Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Literally. I, I, I feel pretty and witty and gay! Turn him back! Turn him back! <laughs> Alright. 